combine two fundamentally similar things and you'll just get more of the same. But if their origins are diverse, something exciting may take shape. This is precisely what happened when the Trubangi Dance Theatre and the Cape Dance Company poured their creative energies into a new production, which stirred up the elements. Brought to the stage for the first time at this year's Dance Umbrella Festival in Joburg, Elements is a new work performed by dancers drawn from companies including Jay Spree Mupin's Ribangi Dance Theatre and Debbie Turner's Cape Dance Company. Dance maverick Pina Bausch once said, I'm not so interested in how they move as in what makes them move. Whenever I hear this quote, the first person who comes to mind is actually another dance maverick, Jess Freemuffin. She's created a new piece titled Elements and I cannot wait to see it. Broadly speaking, the work can be categorized as contemporary, but it also brings together Eastern and Western classical traditions in its execution. This can be seen in the stances, movements and costumes, while the accompaniment features music drawn from across the globe. As the title suggests, the work is a celebration of fire, water, earth and air. But the way that these themes are explored suggests that the choreographer had more in mind than simply imitating nature. Zaki was keen to drill down to the origins of the idea in Jay Spurry's imagination. Jay Spurry, you've created a new work titled Elements. What inspired this piece? When I decided to do the work with the dance company from Cape Town, I wanted to focus on the Indian classical and the classical ballet. And I thought elements, you know, when you're talking about the earth and water and air and fire, it's more universal and one can draw on a lot more movements, even if you're creating movement, thinking about these elements. But it's of course very abstract and very challenging. What was your aim in creating a piece of work like this? It's about connections. It's about making that connections as human beings. Because as artists, we can also be very, very sitting in our own little cocoons all the time. We don't create, we don't tap into our creative being. That's what it was about. It was people connecting and I didn't do it deliberately, it just happened by default. Can you tell us about this diverse group you've put together? That's been my life's work to always just bring groups of people together, cultural groups together, different diverse individuals together. So for me that was really, it was a treat. This is a collaboration across three cities. The majority of the dancers are from Cape Town and then we brought in dancers from Durban and of course the Trabangi dancers from Joburg. We don't normally network. The dancers from Durban would never have met dancers from Cape Town and vice versa. We would not have had this opportunity had we not created the opportunity. This is the final year of Dance Umbrella. Can you take us through your journey with Dance Umbrella and the relevance of this kind of platform? This is going to be my 19th year with Dance Umbrella. And this is where I found my creative feet. At the time when we started also, it was a free platform. Everything was there for you. You just had to create the work and come and put it on. And now the challenges are funding. While the Trubangi Dance Theatre is known for its fusion of classical Bharatanatyam and traditional African dance, the Cape Dance Company focuses on a blend of neoclassical and contemporary dance styles. Tell me about the work that you and JSP have created. I came into the process quite late and spent time really rehearsing the work rather than creating it. She's done an amazing job drawing the best of each dancer. So I think the most exciting part of this, besides the fact that I think it's going to be a beautiful performance and a very uplifting and enriching performance, it's the absolutely clean slate that they started with, you know, like a blank canvas. And Jay Spree has painted and every dancer has a different color paint. To the performers, this cross-cultural palette of styles and ideas was an opportunity for growth as an artist. Overall, it was a new experience for both dance companies that have come together, but a brilliant one all in all because we've basically just shared all sorts of knowledge from dance history to current dance situations. The amalgamation of different dance styles and how dance becomes one language, that just embraces everything. Everybody wanted to work and learn from each other. That was the thing that I thought was really, that stood out the most. Dance to me on a personal level means expressing yourself. So it's not 
mainly about technique for me. You know, we train every day, yes, we get to class every day, you try to better yourself. But then it's mostly about touching people's hearts. You know, when you're on stage, it's just about expressing yourself and making sure that people can feel what you are feeling or what you want them to feel. You dedicate your life to this art for the audience and to, to give the audience this, this feeling of like living in a wonderland. Bharatanatyam dance is seen as an expression of spiritual devotion and all the artists join hands in invoking a blessing upon the performance and focusing their energy. While last minute preparations were being completed backstage, dance lovers began to fill the auditorium knowing that while they could rely on the excellence of the choreographer and performers, the work itself was unknown territory. Earth was the first element to be evoked, showing its paradoxical mix of strength and fragility as well as its underlying fertility. The upright torso and bent leg posture, so characteristic of Bharatanatyam, echo the stability of rock, while contemporary moves capture the dynamic nature of lava and dust. Water also has its moods, depicted with fluidity and grace, while rapid worlds brought the movement of air to mind from gentle breezes to stormy gusts. Costume and movement combine to summon up the energy of fire, starting out as raging flames before settling down to the welcoming glow of the hearth. The elements surround us and familiarity allows us to forget them. This innovative dance form reaffirms our physical and spiritual connection with earth, wind, water and fire and celebrates the elements within us.